Good morning. Welcome. Thank you for joining us today for Starboard Consulting's Tech 10 Tuesday. We are grateful to have you with us. Today, uh, we're going to share some tips and demos that address common Maximo user questions. Last week, we had Lonnie Trotter give a great presentation on quick reporting. This week, our featured guest, Will Brackett, will be sharing tips for work center execution, work centers for technicians. All of our sessions are recorded. So if you've missed a session or you want to record, rewatch one or share it with colleagues, you're welcome to go back and, and rewatch. You can find them on our website at Starboard Consulting, starboard-consulting.com. All of us today uh, want to let you know that uh, Starboard Consulting is a Maximo implementation firm. We are an IBM business partner, reseller, and support partner. We have a lot of experience doing implementations, asset management programs, and training. We are a full-service consulting firm around the Maximo community and environment. Now, I would like to introduce you to today's featured presenter, Will Brackett. Will, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks, Alex. So some of you may be asking, when did the work centers come about? Well, they were released in Maximo 7605, and they have been incremental improvements for each sub subsequent release. Um, they are included with licensing required with version 7.6 and above. Um, what, are work what are work centers? Work centers are role-based. They're designed for a certain person and, they, and it considers their objective needs and interests. They are simple. They are redesigned components for easier interaction with Maximo. They are responsive. They're very user friendly across all devices, your phone, your tablet, your iPad, and your PC. And they are intuitive. The functionality is the same, so there's no special training required. If you know Maximo, you can work a work center. Now let's take a sneak peek at the work execution display. If you see here, each work order is represented by a card. To help prioritize your work, the most urgent work orders on your schedule is displayed first. But you can also sort your work orders by other criteria such as scheduling date or priority. <clears throat> what, can the, what can the work execution work center do for you? Well, it can review all your information for the work order. You can perform your work based on priority and severity. You can report downtime and failures. You can report time, tools, and materials. You can complete work orders and create follow-up work orders. And you can see a map view of the assignments if that is enabled. Ooh. Now let's take a sneak peek, or let's take a look through a video of what the Work Execution Work Center looks like. As you can see at the top, there are six tabs. Overdue, today, tomorrow, the next three to five days, completed and all. Now let's open up a work order. We can by clicking on the work order card. As you can see, all the relevant information is right here underneath your fingertips. And some of these cards are interactive. For example, in the asset card, you can report downtime. In the location card, you can look at all the relevant inf information regarding the location. In the failure card, you can look at the failure class and look at the problems, causes, and remedies. And you can see the job plan regarding the work order. In the scheduling information, you can see the target start and finish times and how long it should take to complete the work. In the asset meter reading section, you can see the meters in relationship to the work and fill in the information. In the related records section, you can create a follow-up work order and see any other related work. And the responsibilities and open work order tracking sections gives you more relevant information about the work order. Now let's scroll back up to the top and go through some of the other tabs for the user. In the inspections tab, <clears throat> you, you can see if any inspections are needed to complete the work. In the plans tab, there are two sub tabs, tasks and items and materials. Underneath the items and materials tab, list of, list of materials needed to complete the work. And it tells you how many and what storeroom they are located in. 
underneath the task tab, list the tasks that are needed to, to complete the work. Once you have completed a task, you can click on complete task and that will put that task in the completed status. <clears throat> now let's take a look at the comments tab. Underneath the comments tab, you the, the user can write a comment in regarding the work and there is also an option to make it non-viewable to others. Under the attachments tab, it will show all the attachments that are <clears throat> related to, to the work and you can also add your own attachments. Now let's go back to the details section. Over on the right hand side, there is one more thing for you can re report work. Underneath the, the time tab, you can add time to the work. In the items and, and materials tab, <clears throat> you can add reserved items or you can uh, add unplanned ma materials. Underneath the failures tab, you can also add problem causes and, and remedies in regarding to the work. To complete the work, you can click the complete work icon and that will put the work order in the completed status. Thanks, Well, that was a great overview. Now, our work center is right for you. They, they can streamline the work execution process. They can drive improved businesses results with better data. They, they provide consistent user interface for all devices. They enable the user greater confidence in entering data. They increase the user satisfaction with simple tools and they will increase wrench time while decreasing data entry time. And that's all we have for the work center for work execution. Thanks, Will. That was a great overview. Uh, work, work execution, work centers for technicians just rolls off the tongue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I put in the chat button a link to our website if you want to view any of our previous sessions or our upcoming series. Um, be sure to check out our upcoming series on next Tuesday. Our Tech 10 will be on Maximo Every Place. Will, thanks for joining us. Audience, thank you all for tuning in. We appreciate um, you coming and joining us and have a great day. Bye, all. <laughs>